Now in HubSpot, there are marketing emails and sales emails, but are they the same thing? Actually, no. The marketing emails are gonna be found in the marketing function inside of HubSpot and sales emails are gonna be in the sales function. But you might already know that. So the biggest difference between marketing and sales emails is the way in which they're distributed. So let's jump into the platform and actually take a look to help better understand the difference between these two types of emails. So first, when you're in the marketing function here, under this marketing dropdown, you've got email. So I'm in my test portal right now, and you'll see that our emails here, this is what you think of when you think of one to many. So I don't like this word, but if you think about when we first had email marketing, we had email blasts. And this means one message or one specific campaign to many people. So it's a one to many. Now, marketing emails are gonna be the types of emails that you might use to follow up on an ebook download, or it might be one that you use to send a newsletter. Again, one to many, when it's sent out, it's going to be sent from HubSpot, from the server that you actually set up so that you have email sending. We have a different video about that. However, when you do this, if it's not set up correctly, it's gonna come via HubSpot. So you make sure and set up those domains accordingly. But when you do this, it'll also then, if you have email um, settings in place, like on your iPhone or something, this is at the top, it might say, this is from a list, okay? So this one-to-many is going to be the way you send that through HubSpot. Thousands and thousands of organizations use one-to-many email as a way, again, to distribute a lot of information to a lot of people at once. Now, sales emails, on the other hand, are gonna be found here in a couple of different settings. So one, sales emails are gonna be what you send from sequences. So when we're doing sequences, we're sending to a lot of people, but we're sending to them as if they are one by one. So you don't have a lot of fancy formatting, you don't have a lot of graphics, it looks like it just came to your inbox because that's what one-to-one -one email at scale is. Same thing goes for if you send an email through HubSpot and you send it to a particular contact, you go into their record. Right now we've got Jack, for, uh, for example. If I go into emails and I create an email here, that's gonna be a one-to-one -one email. So when we talk about sending an email through HubSpot, you do wanna clarify what type of email you want to send. And typically, when someone is in the relationship phase with your company, so you're working on engaging them, they happen to subscribe to something, an ebook, a series, a download, that's usually going to be the place that you're using marketing emails. If you happen to have an outbound sales strategy or cold email strategy, that's usually a one-to-many, and you're gonna find that here in the sequences. If you happen to want to follow up on people who maybe hit a specific lead score, or they happen to have downloaded something and then hit a certain page on your website, which can be tracked in HubSpot, and then due to that, you wanna trigger a task for your sales team to reach out or enroll them in a sequence, that would be a one-to-one -one email. So again, make sure you clarify marketing versus sales emails. One last thing before you go, let me show you real quick where to set up that email inside the back part of the settings. So if you go back here, we've got a couple things down in the tools. We've got marketing, and then here we've got email. So again, if you're sending email one to many, you do wanna make sure you have your subscription types. <laughs> That's a hard word to say. Make sure you have your subscription type set up because this is where people are going to be subscribing or unsubscribing from email. We'll cover subscriptions in a different video, but that's gonna be back here. If you wanna set up transactional emails, which is going to be if someone purchases something and they have to automatically get things like uh, updates on the platform, uh, billing updates, transactional emails are gonna be found back here as well. Again, we don't cover those here in this video. When it comes to sales emails, those are going to be set up under your general preferences here under email. So I'm in a test account, so I don't have a personal email connected, but that would be like my email, ali at simplestrat.com would be set up back here if we were sending one-to-one -one emails. So to send marketing emails, you have to have a marketing email set up. To send one-to-one, -one, you have to have that personal inbox set up. So that is the difference. Think about the way you might use those marketing emails, newsletters, lead nurturing, webinar invites. One-to-one -one emails are going to be specific to sales, SQL qualification, maybe following up on demos, things like that. Hopefully that's helpful. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.